Hi everybody. From uh, thumbnail already you understood point I am going to explain today. It's very general question. That you are watching YouTube videos, lot of people they are consuming lot of content from YouTube. So it's very general questions that can you get SAP finance job or any module related to SAP uh, from YouTube learning? Or is it an essential that if we will only learn from YouTube, is it enough to get a better job? For better understanding, I have taken here three points. My first point is absolute beginner. So who is absolute beginner? Let's say someone completed some professional qualification, CA, MBA finance, or uh, some kind of professional qualification. Now that person is started consuming YouTube videos. Okay, and uh, the seniors told that you should uh, learn SAP to, for a better job, right? And now that person is started watching the YouTube videos from different different YouTube creator content creators. Now, you know, SAP is so vast, it's very vast, like we have so many modules are there, right? If I'm the finance candidate, initially, I don't know from where I need to start, what is the starting point? So it is difficult to find out where to start and what should be the right approach. So I will give some practical example and you can connect with your uh, experience also. Let's say today I started, I got one video that uh, it is related to GL. Next video I got that is related to product costing. Next video I got related to bank accounting. Next video is related to something procurement or let's say related to MM. Now I'm completely confused. What is SAP? What is the right approach? Which one is very essential for my job point of view? What, what is the job profile would be? What the interviewer is going to ask the questions? I'm just consuming a lot of uh, videos which coming automatically because as per the YouTube algorithm, you know that you start watching someone's video automatically, the next video will be there or similar type of video you will get from uh, YouTube. Now you just keep uh, keep watching different videos without implementing anything. So you are just uh, uh, and that videos are coming in a very like you, you can say not in systematic way. Okay, so there are so many content available in the YouTube from different different YouTube content creators. And now as a content consume point of view, when I'm learning something or when when I'm trying to learn something from here, so it is very difficult for me, like what is the systematic, how I should proceed, right? So watching watching random videos and you will expect a good job or you will get at you will get a job, it almost it is impossible right it will create a lot of confusion so why job point of view is not important because when you are learning something and you are completely beginner you don't have any idea on that particular product you should flow or you should start very systematic way you should work on the hands-on experience job point of view know that the practical experience is very essential the lot of hands on the different scenario practice is very important and when you are learning from youtube so you don't have any platform to practice it right when you will practice you will get a lot of queries so in that case uh, it is one way that you don't have like if you are ha having some queries then it is like no way or you will get reply from the uh, content creator maybe after some time or maybe after a couple of hours or a couple of days so that query is going to be compiled or it is keep on accumulating different uh, your queries so and sap point of view not only sap you take any it uh, product you will find that that project is very very important because whatever business scenario you learn that you need to implement that you need to configure in the system that you need to test but when beginner i don't know all these things and i'm just randomly watching the video just like watching the movie then after consuming so many videos after watching so many videos i realized that i already spent a lot of time on this particular product now i'm good to go and i should start applying the job then when in interview they are asking lot of practical questions and i don't have the idea what exactly what they are asking from where all these things are coming okay then a lot of rejections will be there and end result that that there is no job in sap and or it is not a good platform or there is no scope for as in sap career actually these things will happen so in my first category as i said that is your uh, absolute beginner so beginner point of view you should not watch random videos or you should not directly jump to the youtube 
when we are learning something and if you are not going to replicate the same thing in the system then it is no use and when you are going to configure the same thing in the system you will get a lot of queries and that time on on your own it is very uh, like almost impossible to configure exactly what you have learned or maybe if you'll try to configure you will get a lot of errors a lot of issues which you will not able to clear or which will not able to uh, like uh, resolve on your own so un unnecessary lot of time will be wasted when you will do all these activities and uh, like you have seen like people are uh, applying with freshers without having any knowledge because in that there in when you are watching from the youtube no one is going to guide you for example let's say i am a production uh, i'm from the me mechanical engineering or my background is something and someone said that there is lot of jobs are available in the fico module or in fico so you should uh, learn those things i started watching those videos without having any accounting knowledge without having any process knowledge then after some time i'm completely confused what are these things are there maybe this is a something different whereas for your profile as for your profile there is different modules are available you have a procurement module is there you have production module is there but is the product is wrong uh, bad no the product you have selected or the video you are watching that is the wrong one so being a production person you are watching the finance videos or costing videos in the opposite way also if i am the finance person and i am watching the production related videos again i am going to face the problem but when you are watching the video from different content creators and you are completely depend on youtube then no one is going to guide you so you can understand what i'm trying to say here so you can understand maybe this is the situation lot of people actually who are just completely uh, depend on the youtube so i'm not saying youtube is bad or you don't watch videos in in fact i am continuously preparing lot of videos on youtube but those videos for a specific purpose for a specific audience it is prepared i'm getting comments that uh, this video i'm not getting anything so maybe you are the wrong person to watch the video or it is a wrong timing for you to watch that particular videos because and another thing is that when you are going to the job point of view you just let's say you thought like some some knowledge you have you randomly check some videos or watch some videos and being fresher you are applying on di different job companies point of view companies never uh, in particularly in the sap they don't hire freshers just try to understand why they don't hire, hire freshers what is the problem with them the problem is like when uh, nowadays competition is too much budgets are also tight project cost is also day by day decreasing so that is why they want someone at least uh like they can handle independently the projects not exactly like you are going to alone you are going to handle the project but at least you should work under your principal consultant and you can assist principal consultant so you don't have a complete dependency don't think that uh, companies is going to they are going to hire the freshers they will give the training couple of months they are going to allow you to that you learn the things you learn the product then after that we will allocate the project no they want that someone should be independently or at least with minimum assistance that person should handle the project that person should can uh, uh, handle the client so that is why always you will find that one implementation two implementation two three two to three experiences two to three years experience is required now some people what they are doing they are arranging fake experience they are just adding the fake experience then adding the fake experience it is again creating some more problems instead of solving the problem it is creating the problem so employer is thinking that you have experience they are shortlisting shortlisting your cv then they are um, uh, scheduling the interview and in interview that are like you you are not able to understand or you are not able to handle because you never practically work in the system you just randomly watch some videos from the youtube and uh, now you think like you are ready for the particular job so what you should do lot of people they are just purchasing the videos they are uh, purchasing some self learning videos and they are i don't understand what type of learning it is where you can't ask your queries because when you are uh, purchasing some videos or let's say you purchase some course self learning course it is one way communication let's say i prepared one self learning videos and i sold it that's it my job is over so there is no query support if and queries when you, you are initial stage you have like in every step you have queries and you it is right absolutely right because until unless you will not clarify all your fundamental things in interview it will be very very problem so that is why i never encourage any self learning videos or i even i never run any self learning course also whenever i am i have a batch it is always live live sessions because in live session you will 
have a lot of interaction with the trainers you can uh, show your queries you can show your uh, uh, i mean you will get the platform to practice you will get the project the blueprint to practice so a lot of you will enjoy the product very well and whenever you are joining any training whether it is online or offline your wish nowadays online training is also equally good like your offline but again it's your wish don't join in any training that is one to one what in one to one what will happen suppose let's say whatever my knowledge only i can extract that much okay so being a fresher maybe you are not good in all areas maybe you are good in let's say for example let's say taxation you don't have all other knowledge let's say you are uh, chartered accountant you have good knowledge on the taxation but you don't have knowledge on costing if you are going to join in a batch maybe your batch mate is from the costing background he or she is not good in tax but he she is good in the costing side so jointly when you you will complete the project or you will interact with trainer or you that person is going to share the, that uh, business scenarios or someone let's say already have domain experience maybe you don't have domain experience that person is going to put a lot of practical questions so that questions will be answered by the trainer and never join anywhere it's a back side batch size of like 30 40 because 30 40 you will feel like it's cool so whenever you are joining somewhere it training so at least 5 maximum 10 so the batch strength should not be more than that where you can interact with your trainers you have lot of you have freedom to ask questions any time right so it's not like you will be there in the muted if it is online platform you will not be there in muted and you will not ask the questions so this is the point i want to share you from the beginner point of view i hope i address all the points now coming to the next level my second category will be the intermediate so who, to who who are i am addressing here the intermediate intermediate means here i am going to take two options so option one is someone let's say already completed one training from some training institute and that person is started working as junior consultant but not having the good knowledge on a particular areas initially when you are going to start the career maybe you will get some random jobs for example you are there in the testing profile or maybe you are there in the support you have very basic knowledge on all areas but when in future when you will be there in the project everyone having some expertise if will if you will watch my videos also you will find that some ex- i have expertise another person also having some some expertise you can't be expert in all areas right because sap is just like one ocean so that is why you find out where you are enjoying a lot whether you are more focused related to finance whether related to costing whether related to tax whether related to fscm whether related to procurement or mm whether sd because all products all modules are equally important so there is no absolutely it's not like you not no need to uh, figure out like which one is important i should be good on that area maybe you can take some preference from the job point of view but you should take that particular product where you are enjoying a lot so accordingly you should be expertise because if you are not sp- super specialty one particular area or couple of pro- particular areas you will be the problem you will be in problem okay so let's say right now you are working somewhere or you have let's say one year completed two year completed and so far you never implemented anything on your own during your training as well as during your office also because right now maybe you are in the testing project or you are in the support so in that case maybe youtube is the right option for you because now you will learn the things or you will connect all the dots which are missing during your previous training or right now when you are working in your companies because now if you will consume contents and that is why if you will follow my series my videos my videos are always scenario based and it is actually the pe- i am preparing the videos only the intermediary people because now they have some knowledge right they are not good in particular product but they are trying to learn something advanced things so definitely for example let's say you never work on the product costing so now you want to explore more on the product costing and as you already completed cost center order or you have uh, knowledge on the month and allocations now you can understand what exactly the content creator trying to say here so this videos or this time youtube videos are good for you so now you want to be expert in the asset accounting different scenarios related to asset accounting so it is good for you okay so i already prepared a lot of videos uh, you can see that uh, pro- on product costing or related to margin analysis so these are the different urban scenarios maybe last time when you did the training these things are not covered now you can explore these areas from different different content creator and uh, you can explore those things now you have the sandbox access because you are working or you can get it from somewhere and you can explore those areas so it is good for you okay or 
uh then if or what is right now what you can do as you already have some knowledge now you can figure out if we are going for a advanced training because initially when you pick the learning or the learning partner the training institute that time you are completely blank so someone guided you you took the training but now as you are matured or you have some technical knowledge you have some professional skill so you can identify which one is my good um, i mean strength or which one having more jobs in the market if i will upgrade this particular area then my profile will be better or i do i never implemented end to end so i should go for a implementation project now if the training is designed in that way then it is going to help me so you can figure out all these things now or first thing if you can learn it from the youtube it is good if otherwise if you are going for a training now you can choose your partner your training partner from where you can uh, learn the things properly or what should be your guide uh, like your road map for your learning what you can expect from your trainer because initially you are not that mature to understand all these things so that time whatever the training module was given to you it is absolutely fine for you because that time you just you are in the that time you need to start your career but now you can understand what is good which one is not good or which product you need to select what is the new trend coming or what is the new skill for example let's say uh, every company is going for s4ana but right now you are still working on ecc so very soon you will be outdated you you will not be there in the project or you will not get the new project so that means it is time for your upgradation to s4 ana and central finance so these things you can explore from the youtube then you will find out from where you will learn the things from which trainer you will learn the things or from which training institute you will learn the things whether you are going for to join sap partner or not so now you can uh, because until unless if you are not going to explore something in very detailed way you are not going to be in a good position in the job your appraisal will not be there there will be no job salary hike there will be no project you are going to get so this time you can best utilize your youtube to get the knowledge or to find out the right partner for your next training second level or advanced training right so this is the intermediate category now uh, if you decided that i will learn from the youtube then what is the right way to learn from the youtube so fundamental things like uh, first you like when you are exploring youtube again i will come back to the fresher category so when uh, learn the fundamental things because from every youtube channel you will find like what you will find out what is exactly this sap what are the different modules i have which module is appropriate for me right which module i am looking here so those things you can get the idea from the youtube but always go for a design or organized way of uh, the training so th this is why you can like in initially the hunting purpose you may use youtube right the freshers you identify your skills your domains that uh, that is go going to be help you right then second categories i already explained that you need to explore in more detailed way you find out which area you are weak and you need to explore that one so go for a advanced training or learn the advanced uh, things from the youtube then go for it so in this way this social media platform or this youtube you can best utilize as per your way right otherwise you will be, get confused like a lot of contents are there because there are flooded of contents are there so these contents randomly are coming i don't know which one is i i should watch or it is essential for me or i'm spending a lot of time watching a, a wrong category of product so it is not not related to directly any technical but i hope this one is going to help you so next time when you will watch any particular video or you will decide which one is the correct platform or which correct platform uh, correct product for you thank you very much for watching my videos